Hi everyone, welcome back to the Project Awesome. So I'm back with a new makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this nude glamorous makeup look. And most of the products we're going to use today are Cathy Doll products. And I love how Cathy Doll stepped up their game, you know. Since they launched their Nude Me line, I realized that with Cathy Doll products, we can now create nude glamorous sexy makeup looks such as this one. So if you want to know how I created this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Skincare is very important because you're using your face as your canvas. So make sure that before you put any makeup on your face, you have to prep your skin. So I'm currently using the Cathy Dell Snail Bright Snail Whitening Cream. I love this product so much because it's really moisturizing on the skin but it's non greasy and it's easily absorbed by the skin and it brightens up my face. While I'm waiting for my skin to absorb that moisturizer, I'm just going to put on my contact lenses. Now that my skin is well moisturized, I'm now going to apply this primer and this will act as a barrier between my skin and the makeup that I'll be applying. After letting your primer set on your skin, it's now time to apply your base makeup and today I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation super blendable foundation and I'm in the shade Nude Beige Warm and I'm just applying the foundation using a sponge for a more natural and seamless finish. Next, I'm going to take the Cathy Doll AA Matte Powder Cushion to brighten up my eye area. What I love about this cushion is that it has SPF 50 PA++++ so it's safe to use even on daytime because you have your sun protection. Next, I'm going to use one of Cathy Doll's newest product and that is the Sculpting Highlight and Shading Cushion. So I'm going to use the Sculpting Shade first to contour my face. I'm just going to apply that on areas where I need contouring on my temples. And then I'm just taking my beauty sponge again to blend out the product. Now I'm going to take the highlighter part and I'm going to apply that on the highest points of my face such as my cheekbones, my nose bridge, my chin, and my forehead. Today I'm going to use the Cathy Doll's Hissy Speed White Powder Pack. Okay, so this powder is also lighter than my skin color, so I'm just going to use it to highlight my eye area and my T-zone. And now I'm just applying a translucent powder to set the rest of my face. Now that we're done with the base makeup, it's time for the brows. And today I'm going to use another Cathy Doll product and that is the Cathy Doll Sexy Brow Pencil. Now ever since I used this Cathy Doll Sexy Brow Pencil, it has already become a staple in my makeup kit. The finish just looks really natural and I love that it's very convenient to use because it's retractable. And it also comes with a spoolie on the other end. After shaping and filling my brows, I'm now going to take this spoolie and I'm going to brush the hair into place. And then I'm going to brush the product out towards the inner part of my brows to have that fading and gradient effect for a more natural looking brows. Next, I'm taking the Cathy Doll Triple Eyebrow Designing and I'm going to set that pencil with this eyebrow powder. And it will also help make my eyebrows look fuller. After applying the eyebrow powder, we're now going to use this Eyebrow Cara. And this is also one of Cathy Doll's newest product. And this in the shade number 3. We're going to use this to set the brows and to make it long lasting. Now, this eyebrow mascara has shimmer particles in it or gold flexes in it. But it doesn't show up when applied on the brows. It actually looks natural. Okay, so after the brows, we're now going to move on to the eye makeup. And since I'm going to achieve that nude glamorous eye makeup, I decided to use this Cathy Doll Nude Me Nude Eye Shadow. So we're going to start with this shade right here. It was just recently launched last May. And this Nude Me eyeshadow is actually available in two other palettes. It also has the Smoky eyeshadow palette and the Pink Champagne eyeshadow palette. Next, I'm going to take a dark brown eyeshadow. And this one is from Pixie Eyeshadow Sorel Brown 02. Now, I decided to go for a halo eyes because I think it's the best eye makeup style for my eyes considering I have hooded lids. So the halo eyes actually accentuates the features of my eyes including my lids. So this is actually my favorite eye makeup style ever. And then take your blending brush again and just blend the edges of the eyeshadow. This will also help connect the outer and inner eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to take this Herbench eyeshadow stick in the shade rose gold and this will serve as a base for the next eyeshadow that we're going to apply. So after applying that eyeshadow stick, we're now going to take this gold eyeshadow from the same Cathy Doll Nude Me Nude eyeshadow and we're going to apply that directly on top of that eyeshadow stick. And then next, we're going to take the same dark brown eyeshadow and using a short shader brush, we're going to apply that on the lower lash lines. 
Next, we're going to take the same Nude Me eyeshadow palette from Kathy Doll and we're going to take this champagne shade right here and we're going to use that to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. And to make the eye makeup look even more uniform, we're going to take the same gold eyeshadow on top of that inner highlighter. Okay, next, we're going to line the upper lash lines and we're going to use the Kathy Doll Geisha Motor Wood Gel Liner Pot and I'm just using the shade black. This is actually available in other shades. So what I love about this gel liner, aside that it's really pigmented, is that the brush applicator that comes with it is actually really usable. I mean, I usually disregard the applicators that comes in gel liners like this one, but the applicator of this Kathy Doll Geisha Motor Rouge Gel Liner Pot is really amazing. I like that it's flat. It actually looks like a small lip brush. It gives me that precise application and sharp edges on my winged eyeliners, but today we're not going to do any winged eyeliners because we want the eye makeup or the eyeshadow to be the focus of this eye makeup. Okay, so we're almost done with the eye makeup. I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara and then I'm just going to put on my falsies. For the falsies, I'm going to use this Jennifer High End Silk from Lash Love Manila. Now that we're done with the eye makeup, it's time to bring back dimension and life on our face. So I'm going to use this Kathy Doll 3D Face Forward Nefertiti Contour Kit. So the first time that I swatched this contouring powder, I thought it looks really warm and reddish. But when I actually applied it on my face, this is actually the first time that I used it on my face. It actually looks really ashy which is more perfect in contouring because it creates a more natural looking shadow. So to bring back color on my face, I'm going to take this blush from the same 3D Face Forward palette by Kathy Doll. This actually reminds me of the NARS Orgasm blush, the very famous NARS Orgasm blush. But this one is more muted, however it has the same gold flexes in it so it will give you that beautiful natural glow on your face. I'm just going to contour my nose because I forgot to do it earlier. After contouring the nose, we're now going to move on to my favorite part which is highlighter. And I'm going to take this highlighter of course from the same Kathy Doll 3D Face Forward palette. And after that, we can now finish the whole look with a nude lip color. And today, I'm going to use another new product from Kathy Doll. And this one is called the Nude Me Liquid Lip Matte. The Nude Me Liquid Lip Matte is available in 9 beautiful nude shades perfect for Asian skin tone. I'm telling you, all of the shades of this Nude Me Liquid Lip Matte is perfect for any skin tones. But in this particular makeup look, I decided to use the Nude Brown number 02 shade because I think this will really help me achieve that nude glamorous makeup. And that's it for this makeup look. I really hope that you liked the outcome of this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that you learned something from it. And if you have any questions regarding the products that I used in this video, like always, I'm going to list all of the products in the description box below. And to see more of my videos and my future videos, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button right there. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one, you guys. Stay awesome and accomplish your mission. Bye!